No, it does not conflict with Blue Boy. No, 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 no. Just listen to Triff and play it. It's not only mandatory, but it is actually the best card in this entire deck. And I will prove you why right now. thinking your trip you lost it with this one real magical library is not even worth starting is how is it the best card in the deck when it's not even worth starting well it's okay for you guys to have opinions even though they're brutally incorrect but i'm gonna show you guys exactly why where if you open Royal magical library it is literally a plus five and it is literally the best card in the entire deck before i show you guys why make sure to check out mighty master i am and demian cloth play mats on tripgaming.com they will be sold out soon. There are all a few, like, I think 15, two players left. Get it ASAP. And let's get straight into the video. So, Royal Magical Library. If you could open Servant, you could open Master, you could open Blue Boy, it, it doesn't matter. When you open this card, it is literally a plus five. There is no other card like this in all the pendulums. It, look at this. Like, it, you don't, the whole deck, I'll show you guys the updated list at the end of this video, but the whole deck has 25 spell cards. You are resolving Royal Magical Library for draw 3, draw 4, draw 5 every turn. It is bad when Royal Magical Library draws anything less than 3. If it draws 2, you consider it a bad Royal Magical Library. And even then, it still says when this card is normal summon, draw 2 cards. Are you taking that in? This card's effects is when this card is normal summon, draw 5 cards. That's how broken Royal Magical Library is in this deck. Far better than Blue Boy. Far better than all that. So just off the bat, we already drew one card of Royal Magical Library. Let's give it a counter, okay? As you see here, a new addition. Foolish Burial Goods. Why? Because Foolish Burial Goods with Metal Pulse Fusion is great. Now you're thinking, oh, Trip, what happens when I when I brick with the Metal Pulse Fusion? It doesn't happen with this list because you play Triple Magician Souls if you also play Pendulum Call on this list as well. So Pen Call, Metal Pulse Fusion is broken. Uh, Souls, Metal Pulse Fusion, broken. So if you hard draw the Fusion, it is actually very good. Kind of like in Sky Strikers where you used to draw the Fusion and it was like good. So it's actually a very good list here combining all the draws and spells. And you see it gets us a Harmonizing Magician. We're playing Pendulum Magicians as well. So we're going to draw another card here. I think, what, that's our second draw so far for the Magical Library. Activate Servant. Uh, we go for Abductor here because Abductor would get us a free Souls. I want you guys to, we're going to have like 10 cards before our Pendulum Summon. We're going to go for Knowledge here. As you see, it doesn't come full Blue Boy and Royal Magical Library does not conflict. What a lot of noobs think is that because you play Blue Boy in Secrets, you can't play another Normal Summon. So Blue Boy is the Normal Summon. If you play one Blue Boy as a Crowley target. Secrets does not get Blue Boy. Secrets, if you hard draw the Royal Magical Library, Secrets goes into Knowledge. And as you see, you're going to get Souls, you're going to have Royal Magical Library, Knowledge will always resolve. Whether I be at the Royal Magical Library, like I said, you're gonna go, if you don't have Royal Magical Library, you go Secrets into Blue Boy. But if you open the Royal Magical Library, you go Secrets into Knowledge. You resolve Royal Magical Library as many times as you can, as we're about to hear for the third draw with Royal Magical Library. And then we get the Knowledge away the Library or the Souls if we want. So here we're going to assault Knowledge away the Souls. Keep in mind we did not use Souls Effect because we do intend to bring it back, whether it be Akashi or Selene. Uh, we're going to go draw again here. Uh, I'm debating, like, we have to be careful with Desires because we might actually deck out. So uh, we're going to go Desires because we just have enough. We're going to activate Abductor Effect to add a card because we're almost out of literally all Pendulum Monsters. We're about to banish our whole deck. Uh, so we're going to draw two. At this point, we're going to get another Counter Royal Magical Library. We're going to draw for the fourth or fifth time, I believe. I think fifth time. Uh, that's draw five. When this card is normal summon, draw five. Or when this card is normal summon, draw four. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, there's no other card in Yu-Gi-Oh! like this, which is why I'm saying in a spell counter deck, Royal Magical Library is an absolute must start. And I understand for a lot of people that are conservative, thinking it conflicts with Blue Boy, like I said, we open secrets. You only play one Blue Boy. It does, how can one card conflict with that? That's ridiculous. Like, that's like playing three field spells and saying, oh, no, that, uh, no, no, uh, like, why would I play Mystic Mind and Sky Strikers when I already have two field spells? They conflict. They're both field spells. They conflict. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I already played three trap cards, bro. If I play a fourth, it'll conflict with the other trap cards. But, bro, what? Like, having a, three normal summons in the deck is nothing. You're playing three normal summons, not 30. So you play one Blue Boy and two Royal Magical Library. And if you hard draw the Royal Magical Library, it's broken. If you don't draw it, it's not that you don't draw it, so it doesn't matter. And if you just end up drawing into it, it doesn't matter. You just have a level 4 for Dweller. And a lot of times you can resolve the Royal Magical Library even after the Pendulum Summon. As I've showed many times before. So here we're going to go into a Selene. Not the Crowley. We're going to go into a Selene. Uh, Royal Magical Library did its part. Uh, we're going to go into a Mighty Master. We're going to summon Mighty Master. Absolute Cross Sheep. Vortex Selene. 
So sorry, uh, souls. So Crossheep is gonna summon out the souls. As you guys remember, I made an emphasis that souls did not use this effect. So souls is gonna use this effect now to draw two more cards. And we literally have two cards left in our deck. This is pretty scary, right? Like we can literally deck out. That's how good this damn deck is. So if we wanted to, we could have used Celine to summon out another magical library here uh, to get more counters. But there's no reason we're gonna get out negates at this point. Uh, if they appeared at any time, they couldn't, or it wouldn't have mattered. You have eight cards in your hand. We did not pendulum summon yet. I want you guys to look at this board. We did not pendulum summon yet whatsoever. We have three negates. We didn't pendulum summon. We have six cards in hand. We did not activate into the void. We discarded it with Magician Souls. We could literally pass and be like, go ahead, dog. Have six cards in hand, drawn to seven. Like, that's insane. That's actually ridiculous. But what we're going to do is a uh, heads up play. We're going to go into Appaloosa over here. We're then going to pendulum summon uh, four. We're going to go into Mascarena because we have four cards in hand. So Mascarena will be very clutch. And that's the board. This is the classic board that we're doing uh, with Royal Magical Library Pendulum Magicians. Uh, we have only two cards in the deck left, which is why Harmonizing is not that good in the deck because you literally have two cards left in your deck, but the turn is not passing this turn. Uh, even if they somehow clear this board, you win afterwards. Now for the noobs that say, oh, Dark Ruler, Dark Ruler, this is before side. After side deck, obviously, you have two cards left in your deck. What's the chances that the only two cards left in your deck is Secret Village? So are you gonna, we're going to do one more replay if that didn't prove to you guys. Uh, so if you guys look at this one over here, uh, exact same thing. There's two replays in a row. Uh, I didn't pick a hand. This even open knowledge, like it's not like it, it, these are just random hands for it. You don't need to open the mastery. You can open pendulum call, duels alliance, upstart, foolish burial of goods. You just have infinity spells in your deck. You play twenty six cards that are either a spell card or a draw card in the deck. Twenty six, bro. Can you take that in? Twenty six. So you have twenty six spell or draw cards. It's like playing Exodia, except the other fourteen cards are pendulum cards. So you don't brick on Exodia. Like there's no actual bricks in the deck. It's just absolutely crazy how, how plus this deck is. You just have to learn how to use Royal Magical Library properly. So at this point, I think we have one draw already, or maybe two draws of Royal Magical Library. Uh, I might even miss a draw, because like, you miscount. So sometimes you uh, miscount after like four draws. So here we're going to go Secrets into uh, Blue Boy. Uh, not because we're going to Normal Summon it. We already used the knowledge. We already used the knowledge, right? This is also why, uh, I, don't, uh, I think Jerry Mitchell and Ezekiel, they play like eight Blue Bo Spellbook cards. That's not for me. That's like... Uh, and against Elich, it's a decent meta call against Elich, but against random decent decks, even Salad, like Salad sucks, but even against Salad, you'll break yourself too much like that, especially going second. You just won't be able to do stuff to clear boards. It just you, it doesn't do stuff. You're going to draw too many spellbook cards, uh, even though it's good that you can use knowledge a second turn the following turn, but there's way too many spellbook cards you're going to break. This, we only play four spellbook cards. We end up having an extra one. That's the beauty of Pendulum Call. We're going to save a one Pendulum Call for the Magician Souls, which we're going to special out with Selene. Uh, from the graveyard uh, to get a free plus. Uh, so here we're going to pen call, get these, and then we're going to uh, use the effect of medical fusion, uh, go to time gazer. At this point, if they Nibiru, I don't care, I couldn't give you less flying crap. Look at your hand. Uh, you go a lower here. Now at this point, we're gonna go, we have lots of options we can do. We're gonna go into Selene to summon the souls. As you guys remember, I did not activate souls effect. So I'm going to draw two over there. Uh, we're gonna keep going now, activate. We're gonna go into mask arena. We're going to Pendulum Summon, uh, go into another Selene, go into Appaloosa, um, okay, yeah, Vortex, yeah, set. Like, it's just ridiculous how good this deck is. These are two play, two uh, replays completely in a row. This is the deck list. I was planning to save it, but you guys can see it because I love you guys. So, uh, I do this on my Patreon all the time. So, you guys want to learn how to do those combos, I do it on my Patreon. So, go subscribe to my Patreon and check out Twitch as well because I do streams all, every day on Twitch only. No more YouTube streams. Anyways, the list... You only need one Jackal, two Money Master, and a Pendulum Magician list. Pendulum Magicians are very good, uh, especially with Goods and Fusion. This kind of means that if you open the Fusion, you have two Duelist Lines, two Pen Call, two Souls, and three Normal Summon Abductors to get the Souls. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, and then you have Servant and Mastery to special the Abductor to get the Souls to discard the uh, Fusion. So you have like 15 outs if you draw the hard draw the Metal Pole Fusion. You have Mighty Master, Pop the Fusion. You have like 15, 16, 17 ways to destroy the fusion if you hard draw it. So even if, if you hard draw it, it doesn't matter at all. That's the beauty of Magician Souls. That's also the beauty of Time Star because you have Harmonizing Magician. Uh, Metal Fusion is good, okay with goods. When you play Pen Call with it and the Time Star engine and uh, Magicians with it, Souls of Dark, like you get to get rid of the fusion so easily. So you're literally just playing three extra upstart goblins in this deck. Which that's what pushes the consistency of this build way crazier and makes Royal Magical Library literally Exodia and the best card in the entire deck. I've said this multiple times that it's not a boost whatsoever. I want you guys to see this. So all these cards, they're 20 spell cards. Chronograph constant spells, it leaves a scale. Mighty Master leaves a scale, but we won't even Servant leaves a scale for sure. 
But Money Master won't even count because you need a lot. So there's four spells right there with Serving and Three Corner Graph. 20 spells of 24. Five draw cards, 25. That's 29 cards that are draw or spells. That's insane. That's actually ridiculously consistent. You don't want three souls because sometimes drawing two of them, one could be dead. Two souls is the perfect number, especially because it's searchable by half your deck, whether it be Time Star, Abductor, Servant, Mastery. Searchable by half the deck. You don't need too many magician cards that can break. Black Fang, uh, you don't really need it. Not many people are even playing Winda anymore, but a better way to out it other than Black Fang is just Pendulum Summon, Janky, and Mighty Master, Attack with Bolt, or whatever it may be, or Jackal, Negate the uh, Alistair. There's so many ways to out Winda, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, you don't need to rely on Black Fang. You know, Purple Poison to boost your own attack. Lots of stuff to boost your own stuff. Pen Call alone outs the window easily uh, through uh, Alistair as well. Uh, so two souls, two Royal Magic Library. I would love to play five Royal Magic Library, but it is a normal summon. You don't want too many. So two is the perfect number. You still want access to Crowley, so you're only playing one of each. Just one spell book, a Secrets, one Knowledge, one Blue Boy. Just a perfect number. Triple Allure, Triple Desires, Upstart into the Void. Look at all this draw power. It's crazy. You have 15 cards, 18 cards, you have that draw power. Mastery, more consistent. Four Pendulum Calls. Perfect number because you'd rather pen discard a Fusion versus a pen call a pen call but if you have the pen call a pen call it doesn't matter uh side deck i think perfect exchange i really like this format uh really really badly uh especially because as you guys saw both combos are left with two cards in my deck so you could make that secret village of course but like exchange is so amazing because you get to look at their hand i can't stress that stress that enough some people are playing hand traps uh your hand is very good so if you open ex one exchange and like uh, enough to resolve one Royal Magical Library or a Servant or an Abductor, you don't need the extra card in your hand because you're getting plus by the pluses that you're playing. So for the people that don't play Abductor Royal Magical Library, you're just missing out on so many pluses. Yu-Gi-Oh! is about plusing. It's not about like plusing advantage, getting advantage through plusing, getting advantage whatever way you can. Not by playing cards that are plus ones or neg ones like, I don't know, Mythical Beast cards. They don't plus for you. They just put themselves on field sometimes, it, but they brick the clog a lot. A weird scale. I just really don't like those. Uh, so all, no mythical beasts in this deck for sure. Especially with magicians. Don't even think about it. And if Cerberus gets ashed, you're gonna cry. Everyone's playing ash. You don't want to. You don't want to lose to that. Uh, and then the extra deck. Unfortunately, only space for two Celine in a magician list. If you're playing Pure and Demon, you must play three Celine. But in magicians, only two. I actually miss a third a lot. Uh, this is the rest of the list. Uh, so Yusha post side. If you don't hard draw the exchange, you want to get rid of the Dark Ruler. Also, cool thing about exchanges. What do they have? Like let's say they have a uh, Sphere Mode which is a new thing now because of Adamantia. So uh, you would like an out to the Sphere Mode. So you can't out everything. You like Sphere Mode, Dark Ruler, Hand Traps. The only out to it is cards like Exchange. And a lot of times you could take their card that you could use. You could take their Desires if you don't open it. You could take their Upstart Goblin, stuff like that. Uh, they can help you. You could take their Hand Trap. And you could take their Hand Trap uh, that you could use on their turn. Hence, you could actually, let's say they open like Ash Blossom and like uh, Dark Ruler. You could actually take their Ash Blossom, leave them with the Dark Ruler, then they level four cards in their hand, and then Ash Blossom is going to negate their one starter, and they're going to pass their turn, and you know exactly what they have. So that's why I actually prefer Exchange over to Secret Village, to be honest. Uh, especially because Sphere Mode's a thing. One World Savage. Uh, I, I take Dweller in and out of the deck. Uh, you can take Dweller out with uh, Saryuja or Boral Savage, but I just want to ensure because... I. You only play two Mighty Master. You don't want to break on the Mighty Master, especially because you're playing Magician version. That you have some Omni Negate just in case of evenly match. Uh, it's always good to have that uh, extra Omni Negate, and it's very easy to get. And there's cool plays I think I showed you guys in different videos before with Time Star Magician, where I could Time Star Resolve. I could add Mighty Master Jackal or uh, Souls play them on the. I could, sorry, I should get Souls or Time Star. Souls send the one I'm missing. Eventually summon it back. But Celine, because Harmonizing and let's say Celestial, let's say Harmonizing special Celestial. They're both under the Time Star. Celine can summon them both each twice out. And Celestial will get its effect because it's summoned by Celine. And it's sent to the graveyard because it's under XYZ material. Doesn't get banished by harmonizing the effect. And then you can make Boral Savage with the two of them after you get the plus from Souls and Mighty Master Jackal. And then the Celine that stays in the field specials back the card that Souls brings out to the grave that you add with Time Star. So the synergy is just crazy good. And the fact that you have Harmonizing and Summon out of Janky to put cards in the grave for Absolute. Uh, you get to really use Celine like crazy and abuse it. But that's the list, guys. Uh, Royal Magic Library really is the best card in the deck to open by far. And uh, yeah, in this list, it's the best card in the deck, hands down. That's the video. Make sure to get the beautiful Truth Gaming playmats on truthgaming.com right here. Beautiful. I am Endymion. I am Look at that. Like, I am Endymion. <laughs> Spell counter your whole board away. Absolutely epic. So get it. Sign up for Drift Gaming. Uh, sign up for the Drift Gaming membership. 
uh, to learn how to play pendulums and these combos properly to get exclusive access to this earlier than everyone else and cool videos. Hope you guys liked the video. See you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>